A judge ordering the city of Phoenix to clean up an area near downtown where hundreds of people live on the streets. This is a story that we've been following closely. Now, despite two cleanups and one scheduled for next Wednesday, the question is, is the city doing enough to meet the judge's orders? ABC 15's Nicole Grigg with more some of some surprising data that we just learned. These numbers represent the number of people living in the homeless encampment by week. The first cleanup was back in May when there were 786 people. The numbers can fluctuate each week, but as of Tuesday, the number has gone up to 810 people. Here, here's your waters. I met Roberto down near the Human Services campus. He's one of the hundreds here. He tells me he's going on three years unsheltered. He says he's from Cottonwood and after a severe burn was brought to a hospital in the valley then ended up in the shelter. They had to change my bandages like every, every other day so and that's a long ways to go back and forth you know countless. He doesn't know what he will do if told to leave but he talks about returning to his farm in Cottonwood. The only bummer I don't like is that the, the people are not, uh, not so many of them are honorable. There's people like Darlene Laws lending a hand. Showing people in a hopeless situation that there is hope. Volunteers like her not noticing a change. But this isn't getting better. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. And what we gonna do about it? If we don't come together as a whole, we will drown. Several blocks have been cleaned up and the city touts how they've relocated dozens to services. This area is the same area I was at two weeks ago as the city was cleaning up. You can see they have added these permanent signs that say that this area is closed to camping to abate a public nuisance. And when you look down this street right here along 12th Avenue, you see that there are no longer tents here. But across the street, tents lined the sidewalks. This week, ABC 15 anchor Javier Soto was a moderator on a special roundtable on homelessness. He asked the city if they'll meet the July 10th deadline. At the July 10th date, I, I believe that the wording is we have to have show material compliance with that order by that time. And, and I'll just say, yes, we've done two engagement efforts where we've closed down blocks to camping um, that have been wildly successful. Depending on who reads the judge's orders, it's left open to interpretation on when the zone has to be cleaned up as the judge's order says the city will have to demonstrate to the court on July 10th the steps it has taken. The fact that the population has increased won't help them with the judge's order and no matter if the population has increased they still have to follow the order that the judge has set. Reporting in Phoenix, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, the city is responding tonight, not addressing the numbers going up exactly, but saying they will continue to take a block by block and service driven approach to all this. They go on to say, as you saw on the screen there, that they will continue to work uh, with partners to ensure that there are alternate locations available for everybody staying in that area that's closed for camping at the time of the enhanced engagement efforts out there.